Jamie's in Bermondsey. Now, Jamie, I'm, I'm told that you were arrested last night. Is that right? That's correct, yes. Where, sir? Uh, Downing Street. And you were, so you were part of this sort of protest or riot or whatever it's being called, yeah? Well, you've called it a riot, and this is one of the things that, you know, earlier Sheila was calling people that went on the, this protest as racist. Now, I went there to simply protest about what's going on in the, uh, the country. Not, I'm not happy whatsoever. There was innocent women being arrested. We were all penned in. Mm -hmm. um, well, ke kettling during a protest is not a surprise. That, that happens sometimes. That's a risk you take, isn't it? People are kettled for. Um, well, I don't, to be I don't know. I've, ne I've never been. I've never been on a protest in my life. Yesterday was the first time I ever went on one. So I got arrested. Why did you choose this one? Because I, the country is at, is at a loss. There is no. There is no direction. And the politician. I sat with the police officer. The police officer even said to me, and it'll all be on a camera on his body cam, that he disagrees with two tier policing. For a police officer that that tells me that. There's obviously so a, what a is problem. it, Jamie, that you are actually protesting about, sir? You're protesting about two-tier policing, as you see it, or something yeah. else? Everything. The whole, the whole of everything. everything that's happening in this country at the moment, it's not right. There are people but protesting. Was, sorry, and the everything is the uh, senseless violence that has left people dead. Absolutely. Everything and anything. There's young children being murdered on our streets. Yes, yes. Now, I have children myself. Yes. And it's disgusting that this is happening on our, our shores. Now, to, you know, my point is people calling us racist, EDL. I'm not a member of EDL. Mm -hmm. I'm not a racist. Mm -hmm. But I've gone there to protest. However, I got arrested. I was de-arrested. Mm -hmm. What were you arrested but, for, Jamie? Violent uh, disorder. And the police officer came over to me and said, you've been caught and someone uh, said that you were being uh, violent. And they'd done that to everyone. And you were arrested for violent people... disorder and you you didn't throw anything, kick anything? Nope, absolutely not. You were just there walking nope. with the people who were doing that? That's correct. And they, they segregated the crowd. We all got penned off in certain sections. We got took off into white. We were held for two hours until mm -hmm. they, they were looking to put us all in uh, police stations around the, the capital. That didn't happen. They de-arrested every single person that they pretty much arrested in that area yes. and let go. Why My do, you think, and, why do mm. you think that there was a protest outside Downing Street, which turned into something like a riot? Certainly there was in Southport uh, the other night. Apparently at the state of the nation and the crime that's being committed and the children that are being killed. So mm. there's a protest and, and people came out in the last two nights but not about, say, as the texter points out here, Lucy Letby, the nurse who murdered children. Why, why now? Because people have had enough. People have had enough and no one's listening. People, children, children are dying. But what, what is it that you want politicians and people who are meant to be listening to actually do? To listen to people and to see what's happening to so, this country. So, so they see it too, Jamie. They can well see they the knife they, crime. They, they can they see don't. the people that are being well, they killed. Need they need to do that. something. But we what, had an what, incident what, this sir? week in what? South End. What? We what had an incident in this week in yes, South Bend where people children... running around with machetes. Yeah, so, absolutely. Is that is that acceptable in this country? Absolutely not. Of course not. That's why there. So there what are, do we do? On, that's why there are laws there to prevent people running around with but machetes. But we don't because so, the knife crime's going up. The so politicians what do you are doing want nothing. Them to do change. Do to what, sir? To change everything. This whole system isn't working. Change everything. Absolutely, the system is broken, to and what? it needs to be everything. They need to take a harder line right. on everything. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, what? so now we uh, say that the law changes to mean that if you're caught with a knife, you go to prison for a very long time. Fine, and that's what you want. Absolutely, and, and along with a lot of other things that need to happen. And you are well within your rights to protest about that, sir. But it you, doesn't no seem to be that because you've already, you said on your previous call earlier that we are all writers. You've stereotyped me as a riot. Am I allowed to protest in this country? Absolutely, you can protest in this country. You can't riot. Am I, should I should I go to my first ever rally that I've ever done anything that I felt so strongly? My wife and my children wanted to attend yesterday, and the police officer said, "Well, if if they would have turned up today, they wouldn't have took the same approach as they w did with me. They arrested me." Well, I think the police are being you? led by the intelligence that there are but people who are there to commit violence. There? Because the intelligence was, the intelligence was right, because there were people there committing violence. There was some people, France, And you were caught up in it. Yes, but that wasn't the choice by me. I was penned in. No, I understand that. But 
if the police suspect what, what, there's going to be violence, you would agree, Jamie, because you want to see huge change on these issues, that absolutely. where the police suspect there to be violence, they come down on it pretty hard. But to be, to be told that racist people and EDL and rioters and you, what you've said, that's mm -hmm. not correct. That's not correct. Not for all. you. No. But there were people there who were that. But there's people like that on all marches, aren't they? And these no, people no, not on No, not. absolutely not. There are not people like that on all marches, no. Are you telling me that these protesters for Palestine don't throw things? Didn't talk about protests for, for Palestine. I'm, I'm, I'm using that example. I went near yesterday to protest, but people that do marches for Palestine, they don't throw things. Is that, is that what you're telling your audience? There are people who are arrested on pro-Palestine marches for a variety of different for, things. Uh, they, you know, what gets reported today, 100 people got arrested yesterday, yes. but I don't tell you that it was... So many was de-arrested, like I was. Okay, but great. What, what well, you are to say that. I don't think the people who were arrested for um, violent disorder, the 27 people failing to comply with conditions applied to the protest, the possession of offensive weapons, seven knives, one catapult with ammunition, and nunchucks. I don't think they're about to be de-arrested. And no, funny enough, Jamie, not every protest that people go to has someone wandering around with knives, catapults, and nunchucks. Thank you for the call.